having Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I hope you guys are having fun celebrating. Let's kick it off with a Rainbow Roundup. It was a whirlwind Friday night as Todd Graham stepped down as head coach of the Rainbow Warrior football program. Keep an eye out on HawaiiAthletics.com and Hawaii Football on Twitter for who will be announced as the next head coach. We know you have an opinion, so feel free to drop a name in the comments on who you think it will be. Adding to the drama on Friday night, Warrior Ball was back in action, taking on Edward Waters. With the news of Todd Graham departing, first serve sailed across the net. Your number one ranked boats took care of business on Friday and Saturday, sweeping Edward Waters in straight sets moving their record to 4-0 on the year. UH will host their alumni game later this week on January 21st and then prepare to head to Indiana for their first road matches of the season against Ball State on the 29th and 31st. Rainbow Warrior Sailing is back in action for the spring and what better way to head into it other than capturing the Peter Wenner Rainbow Invite Regatta on their home turf. UH fielded four teams with all of them placing in the top seven against 12 different schools. The Rainbow Wahine will continue their season January 29th through the 30th in the Jeff Simeon Women's Regatta, while the co-ed team will be preparing for March 11th through the 13th, taking on Port of LA Harbor Cup in Southern California. Men's basketball had a stellar weekend here at the Simplify Arena, taking convincing wins against UC Irvine and UC San Diego. On Thursday, the Bows defeated the Ant Eaters 72-56, with Bernard Da Silva appearing in his second post-injury game with 16 points and 12 rebounds. Jerome DeRosier had similar numbers on Saturday against the Tritons, producing 18 points and 13 rebounds in the 79-56 win. The Bows will now head on the road for a pair of Big West matches, starting with CSU Bakersfield this Thursday at 5 p.m. Hawaii time. After a loss to UC San Diego on Thursday, the Rainbow Wahine turned it around, defeating UC Irvine on Saturday, 77-73. A player that keeps shining on the court is forward Amy Atwell, securing Saturday night's game against the Anteaters, notching her fourth game of 20 or more points in her last five. Unfortunately, the Wahine's next game at home against Cal Poly was canceled, but looking forward, their next game will be at the Simplify Arena as they will face off against CSU Bakersfield Saturday at 7 p.m. What a week full of news. Can't wait to see what next week brings, so stay tuned. I'm Shine Simply with your Rainbow Roundup.